Hey guys, it's Armwrecker, and I am playing Hearthstone once again, and we are about to do another arena run. I've already got my cards selected here. This is another situation where I had intended on playing alone, but I did get some interesting draws. Uh, primarily, I got a couple weapons. I got True Silver Champion uh, twice. Got a lot of card draw here uh, in the form of the Loot Hoarder and also a Novice Engineer. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got uh, Cult Master and also an Acolyte of Pain. But beyond that, we've got Leroy Jenkins. Uh, so this is going to be the Leroy Jenkins Paladin uh, that we're rolling out with here. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So we actually do here. I don't want to spoil anything, but um, I've had some really good runs lately. And uh, one of which was recorded. I don't want to tell you how that one actually... How it went, uh, but... Yeah, it, 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 yeah. There's been some good stuff, so if you missed any of the previous Hearthstone videos, check in the description, or go to my YouTube channel, check the playlist section, and you'll see my Hearthstone playlist. And, uh, yeah, check it out. Alright, so... Uh, first cards we've got here, uh, let's see... I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the Booty Bay. I'll hold on to the... Divine Shield. We'll see if that works out for us. Alright, we got a Dire Wolf Alpha. That could be really nice. We're going up against a Hunter. I think I've seen this guy before. His name is Mitch. Alright. So what I'm thinking is... Ooh, we also got a uh, Loot Hoarder already. Let's see if he's got something to coin up to and play. And he does. Oh! A Wolf! Alright. I bet you he's gonna go for my hero. Mind if I roll me. We could potentially use a shield on him to keep him alive, but then we lose the card draw if we do that. Let's let's watch uh, and see what he does here. I'm guessing he's gonna go for the hero. He's not gonna. Nope. He wants clear board, really. No. Okay. He, he went for hero. All right. Cool. Oh God. More shield. All right. Well, in that case, we're gonna keep him protected. Alright, so now we've got four damage on the board. Now he might have a split shot coming up. That's the only thing I'm worried about right now, because that will go and kill both creatures, obviously. But, at the same time, it would be nice to get rid of that now rather than later. Okay, Animal Companion. And he's got Misha, which is uh, four damage. Alright. And, oh my god. The stars have aligned today, because we just got four damage. <laughs> We're gonna go take care of this ourselves. Alright, and there we go. We got our first uh, four points of damage off on the hero. Still got two more shields ready to go, believe it or not. Uh, this is pretty fantastic. I've got another true silver coming. Alright. Silver back. Alright, okay. I'm thinking he wants me to use my... Well, let's see. Let's see what he wants. Oh shit. He's gonna take out the 2-2? Yep. Okay. I think he wants to clear the board. I think that's what he's going for right now. Ah. I'm gonna keep him alive. I, you guys might think I'm crazy for doing this. But I'm gonna keep him alive. Then I'm gonna get out the Acolyte of Pain, and I'm gonna save my weapon for right now. We'll see what he does next. Huh, <sighs> this is interesting. Now, hopefully he doesn't have an ooze. If he has an ooze, and I'm... I'll have wasted four hero damage. Could have had right then. Oh, there's a multi-shot. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh man, lots of card draw options. Alright, well we're gonna do the Gnome Inventor first here. And then I'm gonna do the Dire Wolf. Do a little bit more damage. And we're gonna save the weapon for another turn. Now again, as long as he doesn't get an ooze, this is gonna be worth it. Fairy Dragon, alright. I can deal with that myself. What is he doing? Hero damage, okay. Alright, so of course I'm gonna use my weapon here. 
What is he doing? For yeah, justice. we're gonna clear. Okay. And now I think is a really good time to get out the cult master. Now, do we want to go crazy? That's the that's the question right now. We'll do it. He hasn't played any secrets yet, so we're just gonna start dumping on him. He's facing a full board here. So unless he's got something like, um, uh, what should we call it? You see, I was playing Pudge today in Dota 2, and I want to say Pudge, but no, the Abomination. Unless he's got abo an Abomination, then uh, we're good. We're good. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to play one of our taunts. That's something I can say for sure. We're going to play the taunt that can kill the 7-5 if he attacks it. And we're going to get out a recruit. And just go all in. We are just about to win game one here against Mitch. Alright, let's see what he does. Um, he's got a little bit more damage, which is fine. Oh, kill command. Oh! Okay. I got a card draw out of that. Abusive Sergeant, 10 damage on the hero. Ah, he's trying to show me that he's... He's a strong man. Oh! Leroy Jenkins! Alright, that's game. GG. Game one is a win. Alright. So, let's go and uh, move on to game two here. And I will be trying to show you guys my card picks uh, down the road for sure. I know that there's a lot of you guys who like it. Again, this was kind of a situation where I was just gonna play for fun and then I saw Leroy and I said, you know what, I gotta record this one. Uh, but um, yeah, you know, I, I think I've, I've gotten pretty predictable at my card draws at this point. I can assure you that the ones I picked were the best that I saw. Okay, these, these are all high level cards, I don't like this. Uh, so we're going against a druid, so we're probably going to want the taunt. Going to get rid of the Ancient Mage, so we'll keep the Senjin and the Azure Drake. Alright, at least we got a Loot Hoarder, so we got one early game card. Does he have a one? Nope, he does not have a one mana cost. So I could technically get the first creature out and force him to use... Let's see, would there be a benefit in that? I could get the card draw out of that and then summon a recruit at turn two. I think uh, there's some value. Now, I, I've gotten some hate on occasion for coining up to a loot hoarder when there's a, a hero that can kill it. Uh, but, keep in mind, if he's using his hero power, then he's not playing a creature. Okay, River Croc, I cannot defeat with that 2-1, but I can start getting hero damage. So, no regrets there. Uh, actually, better yet. Better yet. Uh, let's see, what's he going to do? Yeah, let's knock it down a little bit. Now, I've lost my shield. He could clear the board this turn with both his hero power and the river croc. But he's not going to do it. He's going to go for hero. Okay, he's got a stealth. What he's up to. Okay. Perfect. This is actually really good. This is going to force him to attack the ghoul because he's not going to want to deal with four damage. Got consecration. This is my responsibility. All right. Next turn, we've got a taunt if he ignores my 4 3. I highly doubt he's going to ignore it. That would be really, really stupid. Okay. He traded. That's fine. Okay. Alright. So we're gonna get out the taunt. Keep going for hero damage. And then next turn we'll probably Drake. But we'll see what he's got coming at us. There's always... 
Uh, I might have to do Consecration. Depends what, on what he plays here. Does he have buff cards? That's the big question right now. One card I did pass up on was the Blood Knight. And given how many shields I have, I could have had a really strong creature. But, um, obviously single target removal uh, can deal with that pretty quickly. Alright, what is this guy doing? Get hype. I'm having trouble getting hype when you're taking your time, buddy. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Alright, hero. Okay, so is he not going to attack? What is he doing? He just skipped. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the Drake. And we're going to dump into the hero. Next turn I'll probably use a Drake to kill the 2-4, unless he's got a really significant buff. Uh, to use here. We'll see. We'll see what he's got. He's probably got something planned given that he just skipped and wasted his mana that turn. I'm not sure what he's up to. Now one thing that is nice is I could pop the shield and keep something protected like the 4-4. Four four. Hmm. Alternatively, I could buff the 3-5 with the Direwolf Alpha. He's in deep thought here, I guess. He's got, uh, what is it, seven cards, and I don't see him hovering over any of them right now. What? I'm gonna give him a well met. Well met. Well met. Good sir. Well, well met. met. Alright, come on. You gotta do something. You got stuff to play. I know you do. He's probably got an 8 8 taunt. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was, that was a good play. Good play. Okay. Ah, we could Consecrate, actually. Um, hmm. We could Consecrate and save the shield. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Get that out. We got more damage for the hero. He's now down to 11. He's got nothing on the board. Next turn, uh, we'll have 10 damage. Unless I get another Consecration. I'm pretty sure I have two. Alright. What does he got, like Starfall or something? Up, oh, am I psychic or what, guys? I just called that. He skipped the card draw and he has no mana left. Oh, oh. Okay. First, we're gonna get our card draw. Cult master, not bad, not bad. Uh. Psh. Okay, we're gonna get the Drake out. Got more card draw. Okay. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna give him another well met. well met. I'll be honest, that is my favorite greeting in the game. Go ahead and bust out some windows. Try to keep you guys entertained. Alright, loot hoarder, really? That's what you've been saving? Bunch of little creatures? My shield for oh, I see what he's doing. Well played. Well played. Uh, okay. Gonna play this. Give him a shield. Take out the loot hoarder. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to give him one attack. Hopefully I don't regret that. Another point of damage, and uh, let's see what we got next turn. 
Hopefully he doesn't play like that 8-8 eight, eight taunt or something, because if so, I just wasted that 3-3 three, three that uh, reduces attack damage to 1. And if he doesn't have a good taunt, he loses next turn, because I'm going to have... Let's see, uh, yeah, I'm going to have way more damage than I need. I'm going to have uh, 12 damage total. You would think if he had the big taunt, he would play it already. He was trying to taunt up for some reason right there. That was his main strategy. Qu what is he hiding? He's holding on to something. I must safeguard the last. Okay, he killed one. Okay, two eight taunt, and he's got a charge. Hero damage, that's an interesting, interesting move. Well, we've got another true silver. Um, hmm. Alright, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Um, I wonder. I get behind this. For justice. Alright, we are going to smack that once. Gonna finish it off. We are going to restore three health, I think. I think that's gonna be the best move here. And keep going for hero. Alright. He does not have enough damage unless he uses his hero to attack uh, to clear my taunt. So unless he's got a big taunt, he is royally screwed. Or, he might have a kill card right here. Wrath, okay. One damage, you got a card draw out of it. Alright, okay, Senjin, alright. And card draw. Alright, so it looks like I should be able to win this turn. Uh, all we gotta do is clear the taunt. Yep, and we win. That's game. Well played. Well played. And I'm getting the last hit. Alright! 2-0 with this uh, Paladin deck here. Oh. You will have to pardon the music. Uh, my timeline, I guess, in my recording. I'll just skip this. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Uh, in the timeline on my video editor, uh, that's what I use to record my voice when I record, and uh, sometimes I forget to mute my outro track. So here we are, game three. We are 2-0 with the Paladin deck, and let's see if we can have a perfect streak here before we wrap up this video and uh, get the next three games ready for the next video. So far, I feel good, though. I feel good. I, f I feel like I've got this game down. Uh, you know, almost on an expert level at this point. And I'm really looking forward to being in some, uh, tournaments that are coming up. Uh, one of which is a Maker Studio slash Polaris tournament that we should be recording soon in the network. And also, I've been invited to another tournament as well. I'm trying to remember the name of it, but, uh, typically Crip and, and Trump and, you know, the other big, uh, uh, Hearthstone streamers are involved in it. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the Ancient Mage. Um... Actually, no, we want to keep him. He's our only four right now. We'll roll with this. That's fine. Oh, uh, but yeah, usually those guys are in uh, this other tournament. So I officially accepted, actually, uh, just tonight before I recorded this video. All right, Paladin versus Paladin. He skipped. I am going to wait uh, because I could coin up to Harvest Golem next turn and, and keep it alive. Okay, recruit, perfect. Reporting for duty. Oh, Acolyte of Pain. Um, actually, I think Acolyte's gonna make the most sense here. Let the pain speak to me. Start getting some extra card draw out of him when there's low cost uh, creatures potentially out there on the field. Unless he's got a taunt, especially a taunt with zero damage, then I'll be kind of screwed on draw there. Unless he attacks my Acolyte, that is. 
Now, I could buff the Acolyte with a Direwolf Alpha next turn. Oh, shit. Ooh. Really good opportunity for a silence here. Ooh, man. I think I'm gonna silence that. Wait. Hold on, hold on, let's think about this. If I silence it... I wonder... Oh, god damn it. Okay, if I silence it... Yeah, we need to silence it. Alright, I'm gonna get my one bit of uh, card draw here. We're gonna take out the 1-1, just in case he's got buffs. Alright, we got a Blood Knight. Uh, I hope I don't miss that silence because you know how the Paladin is. Paladin can apply a ton of buffs uh, to creatures. At the same time though, I'm going to have a hard time removing that Cobra. Hopefully he doesn't have a hammer. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Ooh, Leroy! Just when I need you, buddy! Alright. Get rid of that. Uh, oh no, we're gonna we're gonna keep him alive. Keep him uh, bringing me cards. There we go. Now the main issue is, is I've left two creatures on the board for this guy. Oh, and I actually do have the Blood Knight. I guess I picked him. I just haven't seen him yet. That's my mistake. Hmm. The Frost Wolves stand Ooh, back. that's a scary card. Okay, we got Loot Hoarder. Oh, man. Uh, ooh, perfect! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. So what I think I'm gonna do is play the Loot Hoarder. And Aldor Peacekeeper. Perfect! That's so awesome. Oh, I love it. Now he could buff it and make it strong again, turn it into like a 511. Or no, 510. But that's a less scary than obviously a 1010. Alright. Well, he just set himself up to get hit by my true silver. Alright, card draw. He's got to be intimidated by my card draw right now. Ooh, secret. This is where I could really use a Consecration. <sighs> and I didn't get it. Okay. I'm sure it's going to make me attack a new target. I'm fairly confident that's what's going to happen here. No? What did he just play? Okay. I want creatures on the board right now. Oh, yes! I was hoping that was it. Okay, alright, I'm fine with that, because that thing's just going to come right back to life. So we're going to get a flesh eating Ghoul out as well. Perfect! I'm completely fine with that. Completely fine. Oh, 
He's got charge. He's gonna kill the 2-3. Yep. Okay. And then he's gonna kill the 2-1. Yep. Very predictable, my friend. Very predict predictable. Alright. Oh, Divine Shield. Okay. Well, I kind of feel like... Um, hmm. I could actually gobble up... I could shield one of his creatures and gobble it up. No, I don't want to do that right now, though. Uh, okay, so we're going to do True Silver. We're going to attack the 4-3. And then we're gonna go and heal myself up. Get some strength back, all right. And I still got that Divine Shield combo if I want it. I can, again, shield him up, eat the shield, have a 6-6, six, six, or if I've got another creature with shield. Oh, shit. Well, there goes my weapon. That's fine, at least I got to use it once. Ouch. Okay. Reporting for duty. Give me consecration, please. Oh my god. Oh, I need consecration so bad. So, so, so bad. Um. We're gonna get the booty bay out. This is, this is rough. This is rough. I'm also gonna give him the shield. We're gonna say screw that combo. Protect him a little bit. I know he's gonna throw his 1-1 at it, but then at that point... Like, instead, he could just have thrown the ooze and the 1-1 at it, killed it. But this time, um... He's gonna have to put in a little bit more effort. Oh shit, okay. Well, I guess he doesn't have to put in more effort. Man, I really need my Consecration. I've got two of them. Oh god. It's starting to look really scary. Heavy, heavy damage. We haven't even gotten a single hit off on him. Oh, God, where is my Consecration? Seriously. We're going for... Let's see, Senjin's just gonna get completely destroyed. Let's do card draw first. Oh my God, come on! Alright. Oh, this is so bad. All I needed is that that consecration. I would have done so much for us. No matter what he does right in this instant, he's probably going to have to take some creature damage here. I mean, I'm sitting there thinking possibilities. Consecration would get everything down low, but he would still have to throw something at my creatures. Okay, so he's sacrificing that one. Let me guess, he's gonna throw away the... Well, is he gonna throw away the 6-2? It's a good opportunity for hero damage. Alright, so he's doing hero damage. Alright. Oh my god. Oh god. Consecration, please. I need consecration. Oh god. Oh wait, I could, I could absorb. We're going to do card draw first. Well, shit, that wasn't worth it. Uh, I could have just eaten the shield. I th I was thinking I'd get card draw and be able to clear everything but the 7-6, but... Uh, unfortunately, I'm kind of in deep shit here at this point. I 
wonder. We are gonna have to buy time. This sucks. I really should have just eaten the shield, although it would have given him the Ashbringer. Ah, I wish I could undo this. Damn it. If I don't taunt up, it's game over right here. So. We are very close to losing. Very, very close. Ugh, and I could have killed that thing. I just had the faith! I had the faith! Hero. Hero! Down to three damage. Or three health. Ugh, brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh my god, two legendaries? Are you kidding me? What the? Reporting for oh my god. Oh! Well, we are gonna go out swinging, guys, because, um... I mean, we'll see what we get for card draw. Uh, loot Hoarder, of course. <sighs> Well, that's game. Oh, new target. Perfect. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, that's game. It was a good run. 2-1, uh, I'll take that. That's fine. I've had runs that ended worse that ended up being uh, much more entertaining later on. But so far, so good. Let me know what you guys saw in the comments, and if you thought, you know, given that we know his next order of cards, uh, assuming that he played the cards in that order, had things been different, do you think I should have gone with that uh, Blood Knight, absorb the shield, and uh, also done the buff of the plus two damage to kill it early on, even though he then would have had the Ashbringer, and then also another Legendary? I don't know. I don't know if that would have changed things. I think things were just overall pretty grim once he played that card. That is a fantastic card, and it's actually really surprising that he had two legendaries uh, in his deck. Uh, but guys, thanks for watching again. Uh, please do make sure to um, check the description if you missed any of the previous episodes and other runs I've done. I've got a bunch of Hearthstone content up, and if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends, and also make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I upload other Hearthstone videos. So that's it for this one guys, thanks for watching, and I will see all of you guys next time.